Tonight on Four Reels, I don't know if you're watching this at night, but we're filming it. Then. <laughs> we will be talking about The Muppets Most Wanted. A truly unnecessary sequel to what is probably the best Muppets movie, if not the first Muppets movie. So I That was a confusing sentence. Uh so this is the sequel to what was I think the two thousand eleven Muppets by Jason Siegel and a couple other people. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we I would like to know opinions. Okay. Uh Sean Start. Sean Start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I've been meaning to tell you. Um, uh, it was ultimately a bit of a letdown, a bit of a disappointment. Um, it wasn't wholly bad. There were good parts. There were funny parts. Um, some charm here and there. And, and there was like one or two songs that were good. Everything else felt just kind of like, okay, yeah. And it didn't have that magic that the that uh, the Muppets did from 2011. Um, I don't know if it was, you know the creators or you know what exactly what it was but it just didn't have that chemistry again and ultimately just felt kind of like meh meh yeah i i think that muppets just just the muppets are kind of they're kind of hit and miss just not only with their humor but with just people not everybody likes the muppets and they've just kind of been doing their thing for a long time and i think with the 2011 movie there was really a big drive to kind of make the the public aware of just how beloved the muppets are and how much we miss them and I think they did a good job on that. And now this kind of feels like that wasn't necessary. So they're like, well, okay, business is no business, business as usual. Let's just make another Muppet movie. So that magic you were saying, it was really, it was really the heart. I mean, yeah. the, the 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 last movie was like, hey guys, you abandoned the Muppets, help us bring them back. And now it's just kind of like, well, we don't care anymore. And that's yeah. it. Kind of felt like that was the mentality of the filmmakers. I mean, like you know, you said there was. There were some funny parts. There were some good things in it, but it, it only felt like they weren't. Their heart wasn't really into they rushed, it. They rushed it out. They were yeah. like, "Hey, yeah. this one wants a hit. Let's bring them back full." Which force. at least they're tongue in cheek about, especially in the first. I mean, the first song was probably my favorite yes. part of the movie. Was how they're making fun of the fact that the sequel's not as good as the first movie, and we need to make one because that's how Hollywood works. But I, uh, it's unfortunate that's exactly how it was. Yeah, but I will say it, it seemed kind of like strange. There's a lot of human actors in this movie and non-Muppet scenes. Like, there's a lot of scenes where there's just a guy talking to another guy and no Muppets at all. And I was just like, but this is supposed to be a Muppet movie, right? I mean, all like, they had a huge amount of, you know, Ricky cameos Gervais is a from all these people. <laughs> oh, like when Usher was an Usher? Man, do you remember oh. that? <laughs> oh, no. It was just, it felt like there was... Like, hey, well, that, you want to be in the Muppets movie? Any actor ever? Like, sure, I'll be in it. Well, I don't know how many Muppet movies you've seen, but that's pretty standard. I mean, I think okay. that's kind well, of standard. It didn't feel like that for the 2011 Muppets. Let's go back to the music comment that you made earlier. <laughs> okay. Um, this, for all intents and purposes, was a musical. Yeah. Like, they, they were consistently just breaking out in the Technically. Song. Technically. That's why I said for all intents and purposes. Yeah. In that well, word. the thing is, the same, it's Brett McKenzie, who's the guy who wrote the songs for the first one, the yeah. Flight of the Concourse guy, who I really like and I think is funny. And there's a couple songs where you could see that come through. The the dance number, I thought that was... The, the, the love song between Fake Kermit kind of and that Piggy. Really that was good. fun. I thought that, and like, but then other ones just felt a little like... Eh, it's been a while since there's been a song. It's been a while, and then... That's kind of how it felt for me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... Chewie, you said something very interesting after the movie. I did? That I don't think that's true. I was thinking at the time as well. What did I say? You said... <laughs> you, you you commented on how you felt that even the best of these songs was on par... If, yeah, okay, if There was yeah. no song that was better than the worst song in the first the, one. The, they were about on par. The first one that Amy Adams has her song where she's in the cafe, and it's not a bad song, but it, it was... Definitely, I felt the weakest of the first one, and I thought that that was probably, it didn't get any better than that in this movie. And, and like I said, you said it's a musical and that it has songs, but I never felt like, it, this movie especially, I, mean, I really, a fan of musicals, I really, I don't, like, there was never a song that was necessary. It was, it really truly felt like, we haven't had a song in a while, put a song here. It's not driving the plot forward, it's just that characters haven't been singing in a while. So that way, it really didn't feel like, like, Life's a Happy Song from the first movie, set the tone of the movie and it set the conflicts up and it is silly but it's storytelling and it's important i didn't get that in pretty much any scene in this movie I, I honestly felt like this movie was hey this this is a funny concept we have for a scene toss it in there we yeah. need we need the runtime yeah so There's really just nothing else to say <laughs> <laughs> so all in all we would say not necessarily a bad movie but it definitely did not live up to the potential, which, as we know, is just filming actors. <laughs> <laughs> or in this case, not actors. 
Geld. <lacht>